What's going on everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to me playing some more of the Cat Lady. In the last episode, we made it to the Morrison's apartment. We're trying to figure out who is the uh, the Eye of Adam, which seems to have killed Mitzi's little f our boyfriend over here. A little boyfriend, I say, as if it's a really condescending. I apologize, Mitzi. Uh, let's take a look at it. This one must have been made quite recently. If Joe Davis... It's Joe Davis is flat up there. What was he thinking? Dig holes in the floor. But right in the edge, there's some black shiny object. Can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like some kind of statue. Okay, let's grab it. Oh, it's a cat statue! So I can reach it. It's too high. It's on the table. On the rails. It's so damaged. I could probably stand on it. It's, uh, but it's all rotted. It's probably you. Only fall and break my neck. I have to find another way to get the statue for Can I use a spanner to reach it? I can't use it here. Well, it was worth the try. Okay, it's rotted through. Oh, can I use a spanner on that? <laughs> I don't know why, but <laughs> let's try. Uh, this is the sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark, so it seems how very sad. that would be. That would suck. Actually, I thought about that before in my mom's apartment. Clearly, oh. this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Yeah. Yay! How very mysterious. It is indeed empty, but is it? Yeah, my mom's apartment faces Today. the sun. What does depression feel like? Magic. Well, it well this feels is out of like the blue. All I want is to die, but I have to live. Asking such things That's all of a sudden, she feels the opposite. Most of the time, I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Hmm. That was an interesting place to have a conversation. Yeah, my mom's my mom's apartment faces the sunlight, which is great. So we're in an electric socket. Okay. Why are you? Huh. There doesn't seem that I can't use it on the pipes over here. It seems this place really is just empty. But yeah, my mom's apartment faces the sun. However, we used there was a point where we were in a basement apartment for a few months, and oh, good lord, it was depressing. It was always so dark and. Bad and sucky and etc. etc. Okay, so where else can we go? This is actually a new recording session, so I don't know exactly what I've done and what I haven't done. Hello. That's a puppy! How very convenient it growled as soon as I went in there. Don't growl at me, I'm a nice person, puppy. Can I knock? It's gonna bark. <coughs> LOL. Is it gonna keep barking? Can we hit it with a spanner? What are we going to use a spanner for? Maybe in the bicycle or something? Can't use it here. Can I use it? Okay, there's no power things here. Dang it, those... Okay, uh, where have we not been? The ground floor? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go take a look down here. Hey, Mr. Ugly, really, the dog lady. She doesn't fought too. That stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name. I've always called her the dog lady. Hey, it's like the cat lady. You know, say, we're not the best of friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Let's talk to her. Hello, Hello. dog lady. You live on the first floor, am I right? <laughs> what are you doing, yes, Mitty? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. That's and a hot voice. Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Oh, she's going to yell at me. Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. That's the weirdest it fake voice of her. Sanitary for people living here. <laughs> yeah, sanitary. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering are the cats you? Bothering you? Yes, they are actually. It's because she's actually dead. They stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last oh, month, yeah, the cats, cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my God! It stinks. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. I wonder what's in there. There's gonna be something the in there. Morrisons' responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. A whole load of other rubbish too. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not my fault, really, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone yeah, it's not my fault there's a Every freaking dead body William in the couch. For a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. 
Look, they're not my cats. Uh, who's that? William's a who's dog. Who's William? Dog. William is my dog, yeah. of course. He's 12 years old, you know. Holy crap, that's he pretty old for a dog. after cats at his age. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? No, you're a crazy old lady. I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. Maybe and if you William talk to them. Keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hold him most of the time. Just have a nice conversation with the cats. Gets lost. Be like, I'm excuse me, cats. You, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Excuse me, cats, can you please just leave? I'd really no. appreciate it. And then they're there we go. Because they're nice. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. Yeah, <laughs> that went well. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. Yeah, He'll I'm sure the dog's really to filthy too. I nope. hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Okay, to go now. that was fun. See you later. Okay. How do we proceed here? We have a spanner. Cabinet. Oh, look, it's my favorite flowers. Looks heavy. I think it's meant to be a search place for clean products, vases, and junk mail. Those who have lived in this house as long as they know there's actually a door to the basement behind. Ooh, cool. No one goes down anymore. It's not safe, apparently. Yeah, there's dead people in there. Not these clothes, so I just pause the pause of leaf fits. Could we push it? I could push the camera away, but I, but I don't really want to be seen. If we could get rid of the old witch somehow. The wicked witch of that in the freaking Northwest Territories. Okay, flowers. Someone picked these flowers, the vase grim up the. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Like a bunch of roses on a long Maybe forgotten grave. Maybe forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Nope. Maybe. Not Smell them. Or maybe not. Probably not, actually. I wouldn't blame her. Smell the flowers. Oh. Well, yep. Yep, that, that was a thing. Flowers hate her. I'm Tried sorry. It. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. <laughs> Could have happened to anyone. Yeah. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more Get careful out. in the future. Yes? Nope. Well. You be more careful. Oh, snap. Nosy old witch. Oh, snappers. Okay, well. Maybe the vase was already cracked, but I would have break as soon as I said true. Because you're freaking evil ghost woman. Because you're actually dead. What did I get? A piece of glass. Nothing to cut here. It's sharp. Oh, we can cut the wires now. I have to be careful. I've spilled enough of my own blood already. Now yeah, you only lost an arm. Come on. Mm, can we open this? No mail for Susan Ashford. Surprise, surprise. All the other compartments are locked. <laughs> or only hers is unlocked. Nope. This guy is hiding here in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Okay, I'm glad we can. That Look at these doorways. Seriously. My head touches the top of it. Uh, they really need some better doorways. Okay, let's go back up. I do not remember what floor it is that we could... That there were the wires we tried to pull. Mm -hmm. I call the only colors on her are a red shirt and her lipstick. Very sexy. Yep. Okay. Let's, is this the floor we want to be? I have no idea. Did I live on the fourth floor? Maybe. Or where flat five is? Or whatever floor this is. Yeah, this is, this is where I live. Let's go down. Mm, third floor? Let's take a look. At this book, and have a something. Yeah, it's this one, right? No. Well, <gasps> can we use anything on this bicycle? The crank, right? There's oh, the crank. We could use the spanner for. I forgot about this. All right. Yay. That'll okay. teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Yeah! That's, that sucked. Have your crank stolen. So, 
Uh, it's a bicycle crank. Oh, it's the pedal! I thought it was like the crank to the heat register thing here. I see. I should go knock on his door and be like, hey, and just like run with his freaking. Um, what a crank. It is a crank, but like, they're kind of. They're pedals too. The little rose petals. Alright, is this the floor I wanted? No. I don't believe it is. Radiator. Uh, must have been taken off the walls. Okay, they don't work anymore. Uh, crap, I don't know what floor to go to. What floors have I been to and which ones have I not? Like, I've been to them all now, but I mean, which ones have the wires I could cut? Oh, here we go. It was this one. It was this one. Okay, let's let's cut it. What? Are you serious? Pull them out. For, they're firmly attached to the meter. Then, <laughs> I don't know. Can we use this? I can't do anything here with a crank. Oh, I know. Hmm. Pram. I'm out of lost in what to do at this point. Hmm. Do we have we knocked on every door? I think we have, right? Uh, apparently, we're not going there without a good reason. I'm sure we'll. F what? Okay, which ones? Which ones have we cleared on our map? Well, that's that's some progress. <laughs> have I? Why well, haven't I not crossed on my own flat? I don't know. Ugh. God dang it, Brian. God dang it, Brian. Okay. Let's go back up to the... the um, oh, wait. No, this is the right floor. This is the... Oh, yeah. This is where the... The thingamabobs are. Is that a good idea? This is different. Uh, well, now the electricity is off. Can we cut it? Sure there is! The guy's just gonna come out and turn it back on, is he not? <gasps> Holy crap, that scared me. Hi! I didn't do it. Damn fuse. Jess keeps tripping. It's like we're living in the Stone Age here. Jesse, can we talk to you please? Nope, he's Later, busy. Mate. Later. I'm really, really busy right now. Playing the video games. Okay. So what that shows to me is there's something we could do now that this is off. But is there? Um, I don't think it's very safe. Can we talk to Mitzi? Can we pick the lock now that it's dark and he won't be able to see us? Is that maybe a thing? Alright Mitzi, let's pick this lock. Are we breaking in? Bad yes. idea, Mrs. A. Oh, come on! Rule no. Uh, no. <sighs> all right, all right. Should I go? Yes, no. go home. Nobody no. wants you here. Hi. Maybe it's time this based that he comes me. out. We're playing a dangerous game. It seems I am losing, but I'm a patient guy. I'm sure, have to sure, piss him off. Oops. But it's not right now. Hmm. Well, he's saying different lines of tech. Maybe you just have to do it enough times. Well, it doesn't really seem like much like this, something this game would do. Make you talk to him over and over and over again and do the same thing over and over so, again, right? So, if only we could get rid of that woman. How do we get rid of the woman? Oh, we could cut the couch open! Well, let's go through this one more time. Is it? Okay, yeah, walk up there. Hi! This fuse and me, it's just Okay, cool. now we just... Okay, he is saying the same things over and over again. So now I can confirm, we do not need to do that. Let's go to the first floor, cut that couch open, and see what's inside. It's only not going to be a dead body and the like, cats are just interested in the smell, right? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, God. Alright. I actually don't know what's going to be in here. It might not be a body, because you'd think people would be complaining about that, right? What's in it? Hello? Reach inside, I guess. This is a bad idea. Last time we reached in something, we got our hand got cut off. Hey, look at this. Is it a cat totem? Valerian root extract. 
Cats love it. Oh. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. What can you we do You found it this? inside that sofa. Yes. I wonder how it got there. Me for? Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog. <laughs> yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Yeah. Oh, what a shame they moved out. Okay then, so now what? Got some little key cats. Well, we know she's not in, so could we not pick this lock? Bad idea is a dog. I hate dogs. Okay, well. Well. Hmm. So what do we do with this? Valerian drop. V Valerian drops. It's a heart medicine. For some reason, cats find it irresistible. When the Morrison's left it, so the cats would know their neighbor. It seems they're not very fond of her. Okay. Poor Greg. I think we're getting closer. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I don't find it very pleasant myself. But if I were... Uh, what? Okay. Token and Valerian really could we... Cats will move wherever I put this rag. Could we put it... Make, could you like put it on the door or something and make the cats go crazy? No, I shouldn't leave you. Your cats would hang around this spot for weeks. Where do we bring it? Do we put it inside this room? Maybe? I don't freaking know. Bro. Oops. No. I didn't mean to listen. Walk inside. Okay. Yes. There's nothing in here. We get it. Open. I'm going to have to make... I'm going to have to pick lock a door that's already unlocked. Oh. No. Okay. Great news. Great news bears. Alright. This place is really creepy actually. Um. Yeah. Can we <laughs> throw it up there? Okay. Well, this is just going to become... Use the rag on everything until you figure out where the heck to put it. Do we maybe put it outside? I don't know. There's a million and a half things we could do with this. We could throw out a window. We could, like, bring it to my own apartment and put it in there. I mean, I love cats, right? But what, what would... Why? What would be the point of that? Maybe we give it to the lady downstairs, and she's like, Oh, I'll hang on to this rake. I need it to clean stuff. And the cat's like, attack her. That'd be a nice ending to this game. <laughs> See, that looks like a cat statue up there, doesn't it? A little black statue. Okay. Let's go down. I guess I really am going to try giving her the rake. Just to see what happens. Oh, God. You really need to see this cutscene every time. <laughs> Okay, then. Here you go, dog lady. Take this. Use this. It's dangerous to go alone. Alright. Apparently not. Apparently not. The Bob with... Ba Bob a man with a van. That's adorable. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to see... You know what? I'm going to end off the episode here. In the next episode, we'll figure out what the heck to do. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're ready. My name's Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.